To look at her now with her baby boy, you would never know the hardship that Sir Colin Fossil has endured over the past several years. An Ethiopian journalist and former publisher, Fassil, and her husband and co-publisher, Eskinda Nega, were arrested in November 2005 and charged with treason and outrages against the Constitution, charges that carry terms of life imprisonment or the death penalty. Before her arrest, Fossil wrote for and published three weekly newspapers, Asqual, Menilik, and Satnaw. She was arrested after her newspapers published articles critical of the government's conduct in the May 2005 parliamentary elections. At the time, the government of Prime Minister Mele Zenawi conducted mass arrests of journalists and opposition party members. Security forces killed more than 80 opposition supporters. On the day of her arrest, Fasil, who was pregnant, was severely beaten by police. In prison, it was 60 of us in one room. Rats were running all over us. I craved certain food but had nothing to eat. Often, I felt hungry, but I tried to convince the child in me to endure our situation. I tell the child we're prisoners. I had so many needs but carried on. We did not have a separate cell as political prisoners. Fossil's baby arrived prematurely and severely underweight in a police hospital in June 2006. We call him Nafkot, which means longing. We haven't given him a proper name yet. When all political prisoners are freed along with them, we will give him a proper name. He deserves a historic name, you know. He was part of the process. Fossil and her husband were finally released from prison in April, but in July the government appealed her acquittal and brought charges against her again this time as an editor rather than as a publisher. The case will be heard in November, and if the Supreme Court agrees with the prosecutor, Fossil will be tried again. Nega, himself imprisoned seven times for his work as a journalist, says the threats will not deter them. It is our decision to struggle until freedom of expression is realized in Ethiopia. I hope it will not come to that end, but even if we have to pay with our lives, we will continue to struggle for freedom of the press. I was detained for a year and six months. Prison will not deter me from writing. I will continue to write. I will not soften the issues or self-censor either. I will report the facts. It is imperative that you do your job effectively. It takes courage to do the right thing. For her extraordinary strength, character and perseverance, the International Women's Media Foundation presents a Courage Award to Sakalem Fossil. The International Women's Media Foundation, the global network for women in the news media.